hang. I came to Tufts not expecting to be where I am right now. I wanted to study environmental studies, but I had no idea that this is where it would take me. I came in loving food, I loved to cook, but it was only after I had taken classes and I met with professors who were instrumental in helping me choose to also study biology that I was able to combine conservation and my love of animals and plants with environmental studies. And it's phenomenal, I'm able to take what I learn in the classroom and I'm able to apply it to growing food out here. I'm able to see the concepts that I've learned about pollinators. I don't think I would be here if I hadn't been asked to find a second major in biology and I hadn't been asked to kind of go beyond my comfort zone and really find what I, I love to do. Um, and I think that's the essence of Tufts. It's two times hotter than the ghost pepper. This thing will set your mouth on fire the world's hottest pepper. I'm a major in biology and environmental studies, but just because I'm majoring in the sciences doesn't mean you have to too. We also offer programs in quantitative economics, environmental engineering, international relations, anthropology. So, you might be wondering what the environmental studies department is all about. What are the guiding principles behind a program that's so interdisciplinary? I'm Colin Orians. I'm a professor of biology and the director of environmental studies program. We offer five tracks with the environmental studies program. Environmental science, sustainability, policy and equity, environmental communication, food systems and the environment, and a newly created environmental humanities. We're really excited that students can sort of match their interest to a specific track. And if something else really appeals to them, they can design their own track. We also offer two minors. One of them is for engineers. It's called environmental science and policy. And the other minor is a food systems and nutrition minor that anybody can take. Internships are really an opportunity to take what you've learned and apply it to a real world situation. We're finding that students are leveraging their internships to help them find the next job. So we view the internships as a great way to sort of get ready for life after Tufts. Right, we are in an avocado farm in uh, the highlands of Costa Rica. There are avocados everywhere. It is absolutely extraordinary. Tropical Ecology and Conservation, a course that I took my senior fall, also took place in Costa Rica. I worked with a partner for 15 days conducting a research experiment that we had conceived earlier in the fall. Red-eyed tree frog, it's crazy. Every week we bring in an expert who works in industry, works for a nonprofit, works at a university to talk about their work in the environmental field. So we think of it as not only a chance to see the breadth of what you can do within the environment, but to start networking, to start setting up your career. My name is Johanna Newman. I am the Regional Program Director for Environment Massachusetts. I remember doing field research in Lincoln, Massachusetts on firefly mating behavior and seeing the impact that light pollution can have. At Tufts and through the Environmental Studies Department, I got to see and experience some of these problems firsthand, which then gave me the confidence and the power to go out and advocate for solutions. Woohoo! I just graduated, just walked across the stage, received my uh, diploma for biology and environmental studies no more than an hour ago. It's like a feeling I never felt before. I'm done with this chapter of my life and as long as I've known it, I've gone to school. After Tufts, I'm gonna be working out in California, uh, fostering my love for the environment and, and bumblebee ecology that I found at Tufts. And some advice for incoming freshmen, I'd say just be yourself. Be as genuine as you can. You have that responsibility to yourself. Um, take classes that pique your interest. Try new things. Good luck! Woo!